everybody, Kyle Goth here from GoldFromReviews.com and the Goat From Reviews YouTube channel. Got some uh, early thoughts on the movie The Bad Guys. Uh, this is a DreamWorks animated film released by Universal based on a book series for kids starring Sam Rockwell as the Big Bad Wolf. Um, I'll just be, I'll be very clear on this right now. I was very bored watching this movie. This was a paint-by-numbers story, which, uh, understandable, I, I get it. It, 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 it has to be accessible. I think the target audience for it needs it to be a bit more accessible, but I just, I was so bored. Um, I didn't laugh at all during a number of comedic moments that I, I do believe were intentionally comedic. I didn't laugh at all during any of it because it just felt like, I don't know, so much of it, for one thing, the trailer lays out everything for this movie. So it might've just been the fact that like, I I got exactly as much as I needed to from the three minute trailers I would've gotten from the full length movie, but very bored watching, very uh, unexcited in what was going on. And yeah, it just did not win me over. And as the film went on, I was thinking like, well, I guess it's okay. There, there are things I kind of liked about it. But then I started to notice some glaring issues in some of the character design, some story elements that didn't make sense. Um, I know it's weird to call it physics in an animated movie, but when when the physics are established to be one way, I'm primarily talking about a grappling hook, basically, where things like that, where uh, like the physics of the grappling hook are defined at one point in the film and then redefined again later on. So it's very obviously been placed there. And then something happens that kind of redefines how the grappling hook is used. And that's not the only time, but it happens a couple other times where they, they kind of define what something is going to be and then don't do that. Uh, the film being about con artists and, and thieves, I expected the, the twists and turns of the con artist to at least be something that would happen. And there was a lot of things that happened, like uh, twists and turns where I was like, no, that can't be it. And I kind of saw right through them. Uh, and it just kind of, yeah, overall I was, I was pretty bored watching it. I was really uninterested. Um, yeah, it, it just wasn't a great movie and I'm, I'm a little surprised it's getting the reviews that it's getting because I, I was so disinterested throughout that, uh, you know, some of the things that, that they, you know, it had a setup at one moment and I was like, well, it's obviously going to be this. And then it happened to be that. And I was like, man, it would have been more interesting if it had been this. And I kind of, I kind of was like thinking in my head how, how I would restart, retell the story in, in a way that would be less surprising. And when you're doing that, when you're constantly thinking about how you could have improved upon it, um, it, it's not just a thing of like once in a while. It's, I was constantly thinking how I would improve this movie. And that's not a good sign for it. So overall, I was uh, not feeling the bad guys. Kind of, kind of disappointed overall. So let me know your thoughts on the film down below once you've seen the bad guys. Um, and uh, yeah, give me your thoughts on it because maybe I'm wrong here. I know it's got like an 88%, I think, currently on Rotten Tomatoes. So more often than not, people are liking it. I'm just in the minority that didn't, but maybe you did. Uh, so convince me. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the film. And while you're down there, like and subscribe. There are two free things that you can do that support the channel and make sure you never miss a new episode of the show as it drops. Uh, you can also check out GoatFromReviews.com for all my written reviews. GoatFromReviews on Facebook. You can check out me personally on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at Almighty Goat Man. And don't forget to check out Kyle and Nick on Film, the weekly show I have with Nick Plotchuk from the St. Paul Filmcast. We have new episodes Mondays, Thursdays, and Scary Movie Saturdays where Nick and I break down a film from beginning to end uh, and spend some time just dissecting some of our favorite and sometimes less favorite movies. We'll see you next time.